Hello everyone, it's Brett here, Lionheart84, and I think you can probably see this is more like a horror story than uh, than a plant video. This is my tallest uh, guava, which has been in the kitchen, um, and you're probably shocked that I've let it get to this stage, but the problem is they can't really be sprayed in the kitchen, because obviously it's the kitchen, um, and the only way I can really treat these plants is to get them outside when the weather is dry, and I've got time, which means on a Sunday when I'm in and available. So I've decided, I've, I've been spraying, as you probably saw in my other video, some of the smaller plants. But now it's time to take a look at this guava. And the only uh, fairly organic way to deal with this, to be honest, is just to spray it with warm soapy water, which I've got in a gun here. Now the main reason for doing it this way and I've got warm soapy water in here is basically it serves two purposes it was it will actually simply wash off most of the mealybugs and the main problem is this mealybugs there are some scale insects on it but actually relatively few and it's the easiest way to get the worst of this off the plant now it does two things the it will wash them off it'll actually wash them off the plants but also it washes the protective uh, waxy or woolly covering off the mealy bugs now that gives them a lot of protection against uh, against drying out desiccation so as well as getting rid of the insects themselves it removes their protection so there's a very good chance that the ones that survive being washed off will actually simply dry out and die on the plant anyway now one of the problems these guavas have which you can probably see is they have this flaky bark on them which while it looks quite attractive and makes the plant look nice it is absolutely the perfect hiding place for uh, for these pests they love hiding behind the flaky bark so the best thing to do when it's particularly leaky is to actually uh, is to actually remove it Let's twist that a bit so you can see what I'm doing I'm doing the back of the leaves as well. This won't remove the scale insects, although it will cause some problems. They'll probably need a, a more efficient organic spray to get rid of these. And I'll obviously be knocking some of the leaves off, but again, that's not really a major problem because it will regrow leaves very quickly in the spring. It's starting to get new buds come out now. This will probably do it a favour, but look at, look at the... Uh, Look at all the bugs hidden behind that bark. It's an absolute nightmare. Um, probably a neem oil would be more efficient at soaking behind the bark and getting to them. But uh, today I think it's going to be just as effective just washing them off with soapy water. So I just thought I'd show you the process. Obviously you've got to have a pressurised washer bottle. Twist the plant around and have a little look at the other side. Look at the state of the back of that leaf. Horrible. I mean, it really is thoroughly nasty. So I just want to try and wash off as much as I possibly can. This won't get rid of all of them. But of course, the problem is the bugs have been dropping onto the other plants below. So it then ends up spreading them to, uh, to the younger plants as well so it is as I've said before a problem of having them so close together in the kitchen it's an absolute nightmare well I won't show the whole process because that's most of it dealt with now but it's only effective to do this actually outside so uh, thanks for watching uh, the video much appreciate it as I'll have to go back into the kitchen until the weather's warm enough to go outside but I will get rid of as many of these mealy bugs as I can before I put it back in. So thanks for watching. Please remember to uh, share the video if you think anyone's interested. You're welcome to like it. Um, 
please uh, do subscribe to my channel if anything I'm growing interests you and remember to um, click on the bell if you would like updates and know when new videos are coming out hopefully this plant will take off when it gets outside this summer and we'll get some flowers on it I'll see you on the next video Brett out for now